Working out? You know it. And I ditched all my junk food. What the heck is going on here? Sorry, buddy. Clean house. It's all health food. Well, I may have to take it, but I don't have to like it. <laughs> oh, no. Where's the blood? It's in here, isn't it? You stop it. What is this? It's Jello. <laughs> what about this? This is blood, isn't it? This is tomato juice. Look. Oh, you're sick! You're sick! <laughs> Will you calm down? I took all my blood down to Newman's. He let me put it in his meat freezer. Hey, what's going on? Who made pudding? Oh, yeah, yeah, George. He came by and made some more of those pudding skin singles. <laughs> They're the big shits. <laughs> George. I told him I didn't want this stuff around here anymore. Hands up! Oh. Hey, hey. She's hungry, Jerry. Well, there's nothing left. There's no food. No food? Well, you gotta have something. I can't go back in there with no food. She's expecting something, Jerry. You don't know what she's like when that blood sugar drops. Oh! Hey, you see? She's already in a bad mood. She just got fired. Well, what happened in the game anyway? <laughs> what happened? Well, they stunk! That's what happened! <laughs> you know, I almost wound up going to that game. Yeah, you almost went to the game. You haven't been out of the building in 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. You're not doing anything tomorrow, are you? Because I have an extra ticket to the historical clothing exhibit at the Met. I'm sorry. <laughs> George? Would I want to see what Mary Todd wore to Lincoln's funeral? <laughs> There's nobody I can go with. You know what? I don't have one female friend left. Oh, no, of course you don't. You're a man's woman. <laughs> you hate other women and they hate you? Thank you. So, Jerry, what time are we going to the movies? Uh, how about the 8.30? Saddle up and ride. You want to get something to eat first? No, I'm good. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, Susan... No, I better just go. <laughs> All right, see ya. There's nothing more pathetic than a grown man who's afraid of a woman. <laughs> They were busy. They were busy with their big plans. Uh, what are you talking about? Mom and Pop Seinfeld. Look, I don't know. All right, I happen to know what they did last night. They had dinner with Kramer. Oh, they were tired. It was a last-minute thing. So what's the deal? They don't want to have dinner with my parents? That's right. Is there something wrong with my parents? Absolutely. Because my parents happen to be two pretty wonderful people. These are the same people you currently live with? Yes. Rice Krispies. East meets West, Jerry. Ah. That's a lovely little bureau and breakfast you're running. <laughs> well, I'm off to the bank. Sign up. Can eat you on. <laughs> There's more. The refrigerator. Deduct a minimum of two days off all expiration dates. No meat. No leftovers. No butter. And I cannot overstate this. No soft cheeses of any kind. <laughs> Is that clear? I'll eat out. And one more thing, Venice. Regarding sexual activity. <laughs> Strictly prohibited, but if you absolutely must, do us all a big favor, do it in the tub. Hey, hey, you know those shoes that Jimmy had? I cut a deal with them. We're going to import a case of them together. What are you doing that for? You got a job? There's a lot of money in this. He's got a proven sales method. Yeah, what's that? He jumps. Jimmy's got a backer. Jimmy's jumping for dollars. Jimmy and George are going to get rich. Will you stop with the Jimmy's? Hey, what is this? Kung Pao. He really did an amazing job. Look, he uncoagulated the top of the dishwashing lid. He cleaned out the bottom of the little egg cups. Come here, look at this. He cleaned in the little one-inch area between the refrigerator and the counter. How'd he get in there? He must be like Rubber Man. There's no Rubber Man. Why did I think there was a Rubber Man? It's a plastic man. Plastic. I'm leaving. Uh, let me ask you something. You, uh, you ever hear of Marissa Tomei? 
The actress? Yeah, she's, uh, she's something, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, Katie, Elaine's friend? Yeah? She happens to be very good friends with her. Marissa Tomei? Mm-hmm. How does she know Marissa Tomei? I, I don't know, I didn't ask. You didn't ask how she knows Marissa Tomei? Not the point. All right, can I finish? <laughs> Go ahead. Seems like a reasonable question. That's all I'm saying. I would have asked her. All right! <laughs> So she said that she could have fixed me up with her. What do you mean, could have? Well, you know, if I uh, wasn't engaged. Oh. <laughs> could have fixed me up with Marissa Tomei. She said I was just her type. Really? Yeah, yeah. Do you know the odds of me being anyone's type? <laughs> I have never been anyone's type. But apparently, this Marissa Tomei loves funny, quirky, bold men. You know, she won an Academy Award. <laughs> like, I don't know that. My cousin Vinny, I love that. I, George Costanza, could be on a date with an Oscar winner. An Oscar winner, Jerry. Do you know what that's like? It, it's like if 50 years ago somebody fixed me up with Katherine Hepburn. Same thing. Now, there's a match, you and Katherine Hepburn. I mean, you've seen her, right? Katherine Hepburn, oh, yeah. Marissa Tomei! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's beautiful, right? She's yeah. just my type, the dark hair, the full lips. You like full lips. Oh, I love full lips. <laughs> Something you can really put the lipstick on. <laughs> Too bad you're engaged. <laughs> you really going to town with that turkey there? Oh, yeah. I got a big appetite. Oh, Jerry, you got no mustard, It's huh? on the door. What, this yellow stuff? <laughs> no, I said mustard, Jerry. Dijon. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's Bush League. Oh. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. What, are you just gonna leave it there? It's like half a pound of turkey. Oh, no, I can't eat that. You can't eat a sandwich without Dijon. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I really should keep more of your favorites on hand. <laughs> I'm getting a vibe here. What, are you unhappy with our arrangement? What arrangement? Well, I was under the impression that I could take anything I wanted from your fridge and you could take whatever you want from mine. Yeah, well, let me know when you get something in there and I will. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me one second. Hello? Hi, would you be interested in switching over to TMI long distance service? Oh, gee, I, I can't talk right now. Why don't you give me your home number and I'll call you later? Oh, I guess you don't want people calling you at home. No. Well, now you know how I feel. So, go ahead, tell them. Well. Kramer, are you drinking that milk? Yeah. What's the expiration date on that? September 3rd. The 3rd? The 3rd? 